Early Wednesday morning at the Nairobi Central SDA Maxwell Church. Family, friends, colleagues congregate in their numbers to pay tribute to a man they all had come to love in their own different ways. Lord shall descend, even so it is well. Kajuang's widow, Rose Otieno, paying a glowing tribute to the Mapambano famed senator, painting a picture of a man who did not only take care of his family's spiritual needs, regardless of their language barrier, but also strive to keep his family together. And in a descriptive manner, she brought out the physical traits of the love of her life. This is the man I loved, I love, and I'll always love. And I believe in the blessed hope that one day, one day when the role is called, I'll see a handsome, black, tall angel who is called Jerry. I'll miss him. To his colleagues and his party, his demise was described as a blow. To his friends, a pillar of hope. The body of the late senator will be airlifted to Kisumu tomorrow before the burials slated for this Friday at his Waondo village in Mbita, Homa Bay County. The late Otieno Kajuang survived by one wife, Dr. Rose Otieno, and two children. For Channel 1 News, I'm Ron Cliff, Audit.